This is Roy Kane. I'm here with Vernon Piper, and we just finished playing Toburu. With Toburu, yes. This is the new table system for um, Come On that they are doing with their board games, and they have it for their zombie side, like evolved thing that they're doing. So they were, they were calling it a board game console, which is really an interesting concept. Yeah, and it's really cool because like. This takes Zombie Side because I mean we've both played Zombie Side before, yeah. and it's definitely a, a, a hack and slash crazy game. This actually adds like story and like theme and like so much crazy stuff to it on top of the the technical aspects of the board itself. Yeah, I didn't feel like it was so much a dice chucker anymore. I felt it was more story driven and interactive. Uh, I actually, honestly, I mean we had talked about it before we went in. You're more app driven okay with board games. I'm more hey, I want analog, keep my digital out. But this was it was a pleasant surprise that it kept the interaction between the players, even watching the screen and laughing and joking about what was going on. And during the interactions it was just, it didn't feel like I was playing an app-driven board game. It felt like I was playing a board game with friends. It's cool because it has those like cutscenes and story moments like throughout the thing, which is pretty cool. Um, and the technology that's there, it's like these RFID like chips inside of miniatures, and then you're putting it in like capacitor stuff on there, and you can set up the board in different ways. But the app knows like, okay, the character's moving here. Okay, this door has been opened. And then you hear the sound sound effects. It's like, oh, crash, boom, oh, oh, the zombies when they broke through the glass wall, like it was crazy. It was like, oh, okay, and it, like the moaning in there. I was like. That's something that you have to keep in the back of your mind when you're playing Zombicide. But when you're playing Zombicide 2.0, you're already in there, you're immersed in the game, and that's what I felt that it was going to keep out of us, was keep us out of the immersion, because, hey, let's look at the app. Oh, let's look at our phones. But it wasn't. It was, hey, I'm immersed. I'm watching. It's basically I'm watching a movie version of my board game. I know, it's pretty crazy, too, because, I mean, you still have those moments where it's like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe you did that chainsaw roll, and we all high-five around the table. Like six or eight zombies in one roll with five dice. And we were all like, whoa, high-fiving around the table, yeah. It's like when you still have those, like, narrative, awesome, like, thematic moments. And, and it's cool because they're, like, go to cut scenes and give yeah. you the theme with amazing yeah. voice acting and stuff as well. Yeah, the voice acting, I was really surprised. I sat there, and I kept trying to figure out who it was, and they ended up getting John DiMaggio, who plays everybody everybody knows Jake from Adventure Time or Fry. Mathematical. Yeah, Fry from uh, Futurama in there as one of the characters in the game bringing you into the Zombicide world. And it was interesting. Yeah, and it's really cool because um, they can use the system with a bunch of different stuff because they they switch out the RFIDs and it knows where the things are. And it, it shows you on the board, okay, this is where your characters are. It can also undo things. Yeah. You can also like stop the game mid-game and come back and it'll show you exactly where your characters are. Yeah. You can target stuff with weapons and the dice. What do you think about the dice? Because you roll dice and it knows exactly. You rolled these dice and this is what you got. Well, that was really interesting because, I mean, when we were playing, I ended up messing up roll of one of my dice and I was like, oh, you know, that, that's bad. And they're like, no, you just click the undo button. And I was like, what? And, you know, yep, you hit the undo button and you get to roll again. And we were ended up joking the one time where he had a really bad roll and said, hey, let's just push the undo button. And that, I really think, is a cool factor because you'll sit there and you'll see the hits register on the master screen and you don't even have to watch it because you'll hear the gunshots. Yeah. And that's really, like, I'm all about immersion when I play games. I like to have audio in the background, you know, tempered to the vi uh, the board game I'm playing. And to have, like, sound effects and everything going along with it, that's, it was one of the greatest things that I've done at Gen Con so far. Yeah, and, like, you level up and it's, like, rock music plays. And everybody's <laughs> like, level up, yeah! yeah. It's, it's, it's really cool, like, the way that they've, like thrown all the flavor and the theme in there with the game yeah. and like the technology almost fades away and you feel like you're playing this cinematic experience which yep. is actually super cool yeah that's um, a very good apt description you're like i said you're playing the movie zombicide now you're not playing the board game zombicide yeah and aside from all the technology, that stuff's cool. And then the technology on top of that, they can branch this out and do all sorts of different stuff. The guys have, like, tons of ideas of all sorts of cool things they can do with it in the future, too. So I'm really excited to see what they can do with this console that they're making for yeah, board games. The console board game. Yeah. The fact that they have, you know, that because I, I asked a lot of technical questions in there, and they were able to snap answer what I had. And I had some really technical questions. And I was... Very surprised at the level of detail that they put into it, the technology-wise, the art 
direction, the graphics, just the sound effects, the voice, like everything about this screams, give me more games. Yeah, and it's also cool they were saying that your character in Zombie Side, like you'll level it up through a story and things like that. And actually, like that save state will actually be saved on their servers in the cloud. Yep. And you'll be able to take your miniature, yeah. your RFID, yeah. and put it in your friend's game and, and still be able to use like the same stats that you had up, yeah, and be leveled yeah. up. So it's almost like you get that, like almost like mini toys that you get in some of those crazy video games effect here, but with your actual like Zombie Side miniatures. Yeah, it's like, oh, I'm going to go to my friend's house. Oh, well, they're super far into the game. Well, that's fine. I'm super far into the game too. Too. And you sit and you plop your character down. You guys are all leveled up the same. You guys are going through the story. And you don't have to worry about, oh, my friend needs to carry me because they're five levels ahead of me. No, you guys, you work it out. And it's awesome. Awesome. Well, that's mine and Vernon's thoughts on Tabaru. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.